it is important to do your work, but it is just as important to check your work. That's right. So in order to correct your math work, we've come up with an easy way to get started. One way you can correct on your iPad is using split screen. To use a split screen on your iPad, you first need to open the prior day's assignment. Then at the top of the screen, you will tap the three dots and select a multitasking screen. Once you've done this, you will select Canvas and open up the lesson number with correct next to it. And now you're ready to correct. As you watch the video, put a red star next to the ones you got correct. If you missed the problem, that's okay. Write the correct answer in red and circle the number of the problem. Do this on each of the problems and then submit the corrected problems the same way you submitted the assignment. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. All right, <clears throat> welcome to 3.9 correcting and my friend Harlow is gonna show you how to do this. Now, on this one we were pretending that there were 18 cookies. We're gonna show how to make the 18 cookies be shared. Well, here's the easy part, guys. You know your first thing, we're gonna be dividing everything by 18. So you should have 18 at the front of every single one of these questions. 18, all right. But we know the first one, they're sharing that uh, between two friends. And if I didn't know how to solve that, when I draw the picture, that would work. So I draw one, two, oops, you know what? I'm gonna have Harlow make that other one bigger because we got a lot to draw there. <clears throat> All right, she's gonna draw them. She's gonna do one in each one until she gets to 18. One, two, up, oh, Harlow, how about you make that a little bit bigger? Let's start that over. It's okay, we can always start over, right? Yes, we can. All right, and she's gonna go a little bit bigger now. So she's gonna do one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We got to 18. Now she just needs to count those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So Harlow knows that 18 divided by two is nine. And to write that as a multiplication, we just write that backwards. So that would be two, because we had two groups, times nine equals 18. And no matter what anybody tells you, nines are the best times table. Remember that. All right, so now let's look at the next one. Between three friends, so divided by three. All right, so three friends, one, two, three, we're gonna do the same thing. We gotta get 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we know that 18 divided by three equals six. So our equation, a, or two times, whoops, not two, we had three friends. Careful there, make sure you remember, this is three times six equals 18. All right, next one we've got six friends. So 18 divided by six. Oh, here's what I love guys, look at this. If I were to look up above here, and see those, I have that three and the six. I know already that 18 divided by six is three, not six, right a three. But we still gotta do our groups. So let's draw our six. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do one down here, six. All right, we gotta draw till we get to 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. There we go. All right, so each one gets three. <coughs> so now we know that this one is six times 
three, so six groups times three equals 18. Notice we know that each of our answers is gonna be 18. Equals 18. All right, now we're gonna do oh, my favorite times table. But if I know I have a nine somewhere, and look at that, I do. I'll put that number one times two divided by nine equals two. But I gotta draw nine groups of two. All right, let's go all those nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm gonna change my color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Woo! Go back. Go back. 17, 18. All right, so now we know that two, or excuse me, nine groups of two equals 18. Last one, 18 friends. This one's gonna be a little bit harder, unfortunately. So 18 divided by 18. So we've gotta draw 18 groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And these are gonna be, whoops, these are gonna be blueberry cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that's pretty self-explanatory. 18 divided by 18 is one. Now it's gonna be eight, oh, excuse me, 18 times one equals 18. All right, next page. And let's get rid of that green line we drew. So <clears throat> here we gotta fill in the blanks. And if we look, we need to draw seven groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and inside each of those, we have to put five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now, We've got seven groups of five, which the multiplication problem would be seven times five. And then we can, oops, let's make that five a little better. Fiver, there we go. We can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So seven times five is 35. We forgot to do one thing. Let's go back over. If you got them correct, put a star. If you missed them, put a circle and write the correct answer. Okay, let's go back over. All right, here we are. So now we need to put <laughs> what it is as a division problem. So we just write it backwards. So we knew it was 35, was our answer, divided by the groups, which was seven. Oh, my goodness, I'm having a problem with this stylus tonight. 35. And there were five groups, or five in each group. Seven groups of five. So 35 divided by seven equals five. All right, next one. Three groups of eight. One, I'm gonna draw them big because there's eight. Two, three, three groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that's the same as three times eight. And if we count them up, we come, we should come up with 24. Three times eight is 24. All right, so now we've got 24 divided by, we had three groups, three equals eight. Remember your stars or your circles, depending if you got it right or incorrect. All right, 
Last one. Four groups of nine. Ooh, nines. Best times table ever, nines. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna have lime cookies this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna draw nine in each one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, times table question. That was four times nine. All right, four times nine. Ooh, here's what I like about nines. You ready? We will take one away from that four. It's three. Three plus what is nine? Three plus six is nine, so 36. All right, last part. We need to write our division problem. I can get there. And it was, ooh, 36 divided by four equals nine. So we had four groups of nine. All right, don't forget those stars or circles. Make sure you upload it and submit. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.